good day po sa ating lahat at welcome sa Isip Ma tutorial at ang topic po natin ngayon ay probability of an event and this is for grade 8 mathematics quarter for module 8. Pero bago pang lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you'll be updated on my videos. So our topic is probability of an event. So this is our last module sa ating quarter 4, ating grade 8 mathematics. At ang ating learning competencies, we have here the learners find the probability of a simple event. The learner illustrates an experimental probability and a theoretical probability. And the learner solves problems involving probabilities of simple events. And our objectives at the end of the lesson, the learner expected to identify the probabilities of simple events, illustrate the theoretical and experimental probability, and solve problems involving probabilities of simple events. And for our lesson 1, we have a probability of an event. So, alam naman po natin kung ano yung ABC sabi na probability sa ating past lesson, di ba? So, probability of an event or denoted as P of an event is a number from 0 to 1 which tells how likely the event is to happen. So, it means, kumbaga, um, estimation. Di ba? Estimate kung uh, mangyayari bang isang bagay o hindi. And, we have here the rule and the example for our number one. We have here the probability of any event is a number. So either a fraction, decimal, or a percent from 0 to 1. So, ibig sabihin ito, yung, prob yung probability ng isang event ay isang number. Diba? Either fraction, pwede decimal, percent, basta from 0 to 1. So for example, the weather forecast shows a 75% rain. So, our event here is rain. So, therefore, P of rain or probability of an event which is rain is equal to 75%. So, it means 75% na mangyayari na uulan. Okay. So, it could be a fraction, decimal, or a percent from 0 to 1. And for number 2, if an event will never happen, then its probability is 0. So, ibig sabihin nito, pag hindi po mangyayari yung isang bagay, so, yung probability ay 0. For example, we have here, when a single die is rolled, find the probability of getting an 8. Alam naman natin na yung isang dice ay merong 6 faces, di ba? At saka merong numbers doon from 1 to 6. Tapos, ang hinanap dito is probability of getting an 8. Alam naman natin na walang 8 doon sa dice. So, ibig sabihin nito, ang ating probability ay 0. So, probability of getting an 8 is 0. And for number 3, if an event is sure to happen, then the probability is 1. Kung, isang, kung yung isang event ay talagang mangyayari, 100% sure, diba? so the probability is 1. So for example, we have here, when a single die is rolled, what is the probability of getting a number less than 7? So alam naman natin na yung, yung dice ay may anim na faces, diba? from 1 to 6. Tapos yung hinanap is less than 7. So ibig sabihin, talaga mangyayari siya. Diba? So, we have here the probability of an event by number less than 7. We have here 6 over 6 kasi 6 na faces yung dice. Tapos, my numbers din are from 1 to 6. So, it means 6 over 6. So, 6 over 6 is 1. So, therefore, the probability of getting a number diba? less than 7 is 1. Then for number 4, the sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes in a sample space is 1. So, for example, we have here, enrolling a fair die, each outcome in a sample space has a probability of 1, 6, diba? 1, 6. Okay, 1 over 6. So, anim sila, diba? Anim. Okay? So, it means, anim na 1, 6. Kasi, that's a 1 over 1. Then, isa lang yung 2. So, it means 1 over, ano? Uh, isa lang yung 1, so 1 over 6. Tapos isa yung 2, it means 1 over 6 then Isa lang yung 3, so 1 over 6. Isa lang yung 4, so it means 1 over 6 then Then, um, isa lang yung 5, so 1 over 6. Tapos isa lang yung 6, so for 1 over 6. So, we will add those anim na 1 over 6 or 1 6. So, the result is 6 over 6 or 1. So, hence, the sum of the probabilities of the outcome is equal to 1. Okay, so for our lesson 2, we have a theoretical and experimental probability. Ano pa itong ibig sabihin ng theoretical probability at experimental probability? For theoretical probability, is the probability that a certain outcome will occur as determined through reasoning or calculation. 
Tapos yung finding the theoretical probability of an event, the theoretical probability of an event is the number of ways the event can occur or favorable outcomes divided by, number, by the number of total outcomes. So, para mas maintindihan ba natin, we have here the, the formula. So, the theoretical probability formula, the formula for the theoretical probability of an event is P, di ba? Probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the number of total outcomes. For example, we have here problem number one. A coin is tossed. Find the, find the theoretical probability of landing a head side of the coin. So, we know that there is only one head and one um, tail of the coin, di ba? So, the number of favorable outcome is only one. Tapos, may dalawang side yung coin. So, that is one over two. So, magiging ganito. It is a uh, substitute natin sa ating formula na P of an event is equal to number of favorable outcome over number of total outcomes. So, our favorable outcome is only 1 and our total outcome is 2. So, therefore, 1 over 2. Di ba? So, the answer is that theoretical probability is 1 over 2 or 1 half. And for our second example, a ball contains 10 red balls, 8 blue balls, and 2 yellow balls. Find the theoretical prob probability of getting a blue ball. So, there are 8 blues. Di ba? There are 8 blue balls. Therefore, the number of favorable outcome is 8. Kasi walo yung blue balls natin. Pero, yung total balls na nandun sa isang ball ay 20 balls. So, therefore, the number of total outcome is 20. So, let's substitute this one sa ating formula. P of an event or probability of an event is equal to our number of favorable outcome which is 8 blue. Yeah, blue balls. Tapos, number of total outcomes is 20. Then, simplify. Magiging 2 over 5 or the theoretical probability is 2 fifth or 2 over 5. Okay, then for the experimental probability, we have here is the probability of an outcome of an event based on experiment. The more trials done in an experiment, the closer the experimental probability gets to the theoretical probability. And our example, we have here finding the experimental probability of an event. For step 1, conduct an experiment and record the number of times the event occurs and number of times the activity is performed. So, we will conduct an experiment, tapos record natin kung ilang uh, number of times na mag-occur yung, yung event. Uh, I, I mean, times the event occurs and the number of times also na, na perform your activity. And for number, uh, step number two, divide the two numbers to obtain the experimental probability. So, we have the example. Uh, still, our formula is P or probability of event is equal to number of times. Diba? Number of times event occurs and... Uh, over the total number of trials. For our example, if a dice is rolled 150 times, diba? and the number 3 occurs 27 times, find the experimental probability that 3 shows up on the dice. Okay, so, merong isang die, uh, na-roll natin 150 times, tapos yung number 3, dumabas siya 27 times. So, find the experimental probability that 3 shows up on the dice. So, let's substitute that one to our formula. We have a probability of an event is equal to number of times event occurs, which is 27, di ba? 27 times na nag lumabas yung 3. Tapos yung total number of trials, di ba? Niroll natin yung dice 150 times. So, simplify. Magiging 9 over 50, di ba? Or, simply as 9 divided by 50 is 0.18 or 0.18. Okay, so the experimental probability is 0.18 if we multiply this to 100 para makuha yung percent, percentage, so magiging 18%. So, 18% po na lumabas si 3 doon sa 150 times na roll po natin sa ating dice. Okay, so that's for the theoretical experimental and experimental probability. And for our lesson 3, we have your problems involving probabilities of simple events. So, for problem number 1, a committee has 8 female and 12 male members. What is the probability of choosing a female as the president of this committee? So our solution, alam naman natin yung formula na P of an event is number of P, number of um, yung ano, uh, uh, favorable outcome, di ba? Number of favorable outcome over the total outcomes. So probability of choosing a female as a president. So ilang female na andun sa, sa committee, di ba? 8 females, di ba? Tapos yung total members ay 20. Kasi 8 yung female, 
Tapos 12 yung male, so 8 plus 12 is 20, so magiging 8 over 20. Or simply as, kung decimal po yung kukunay natin, simply as 0 0.4. Or if you multiply this one into 100, uh, 100 para mako yung percentage, so our answer is 40%. Okay, so for our number 2, we have here the number of, uh, the numbers 1, 2, 10 are written on separate pieces of paper, folded and put in a box. One number piece of paper is drawn from this box. So for letter A, what is the probability that this randomly chosen number is even? even? So even number. So probability of getting an even number, we have here number of even numbers. Diba? So from 1 to 10, ilan yung even number ng one, from 1 to 10? So diba? 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? Tapos yung total numbers. Ilan lahat yung total numbers na pagpipilian pa natin, ba 10, diba? 1 to 10. So therefore, 5 over 10 or simply as 1 over 2 or 1 half. Or kung kukunin natin yung decimal, that is 0 0.5. Tapos if you multiply that one to 100 para makuha yung percentage, our answer is 50%. Okay, that's for letter A. And for letter B, what is the probability that this number chosen randomly is 3? Diba? Probability of getting a 3. So number of the digit, a uh, number of the digit 3, diba? Ilan yung 3 andun sa 1 to 10? Diba? Isa lang. Isa lang yung number 3. So, therefore, 1. Yung total numbers over 10. So, is equal to 0 0.1 if decimal. If we multiply that one into 100, para makuha yung percentage, our answer is 10%. Okay. And for letter C, what is the probability that this number chosen is a prime number? Okay. So, prime numbers in the box are 2, 3, 5, and 7. So, there are 4 prime numbers. Diba? Kasi yung yung numbers na sa box ay 1 to 10. So, yung prime numbers is only 2, 3, 5, and 7. So, apat na prime numbers. So, probably of getting a prime number, number of prime numbers, diba, apat over the total numbers. Okay, diba, yung pagpipilian po natin na numbers na sa box ay 1 to 10. So, it means 10 numbers. So, 4 over 10. Simplify, 2 over 5 or simply as 0 0.4. Diba, if decimal yung kukunin natin, tapos if we multiply that on into 100, our result is 40%. Okay. So, I hope nag-get siya po yung ibig natin sabihin. Okay. And, once again, this is my teacher ko. Yung isip mo tutorial. Salamat po sa panunood at sana nakatulong po ako sa inyo. And see you in my next video.